All right, we're here for our first lesson. Our first lesson is going to be on posture and alignment. It's the fastest way to improve your voice. If you want to see results immediately, start with these things. First, start with your feet. Make sure that they're hip or shoulder width apart, depending on how you're built. If you're narrow hipped, you want to go with shoulders. If you're broad shouldered, you want to go with hips. We're going to try to get a balance in between the, the feet so that the weight is evenly distributed. Try not to set your feet side by side, perfectly parallel with each other. That will cause that church sway that so many of us like to do while we're singing. So be sure to place your dominant foot out, maybe just a, one small step in front of the other. As you balance your weight, you're going to find that your knees should not lock. If you lock your knees and you get nervous, you could have an accident. So be sure to keep your knees loose. Next, we're going up to the hips. The hips are loose and balanced between the legs. Try not to cock one way or the other with the hips so that the spinal uh, alignment is there through the instrument. And just like with any instrument, if you were to bend it, it wouldn't work as well. So that has much to do with your neck and mouth. Try to keep your ear lined up with your shoulders. I have a little test that I do in my studio with a pen or a pencil. You take that, you set it on your shoulder, and make sure that your ear is lined up with that pen or pencil. A quick way for you to test that yourself without a teacher present is to just take a snapshot from the side with your camera. So after the feet, the knees, the hips, and the ears are lined up, we're going to make sure that our arms are loosely hanging by our sides. A lot of people try to release their arm from the shoulder, but singers should release their arm from the back of the neck. You're going to feel a yoga type stretch there when you release that energy down to your fingertips. If you're holding a mic, that's fine, but just make sure that you're keeping the shoulder nice and relaxed. Any kind of tension in the shoulders is going to immediately affect the sound in the, in the voice because it's so close to your instrument. And so with those quick little steps, you should be able to hear immediate improvement in your voice today. Get started.